What's going on, everybody? I've had a lot of fun trying to make Nimrod work this month, and I finally hit infinite with the card. And I'm pretty happy with the list I've settled on. If you watch my last videos, I've, you know, I've been trying a lot of different things. I've been taking cards out, putting them back in. So I'd like to go through the list right now, explain my reasoning for why these cards are here. Okay, so of course, the best way to make Nimrod stronger is Shuri. And since you can't always have Nimrod in hand, we included Shuri's other best friends, Red Skull and Taskmaster. Uh, you guys know this play pattern. You know that you can win games with just these three cards, so I don't need to show you those. It, it happens, you know. Do note that I don't run armor or Cosmo in the list, uh, so it's a little more vulnerable than the, the classic, you know, fully Shuri-enabled deck list. But other people are running those cards, so you can just use theirs most of the time. So the other route is to get Nimrod down earlier. And uh, originally I ran Wave, I ran Psylocke, and I ran Electro. I cut Psylocke because she was part of the, the big Wong uh, wombo combo thing with Destroyer that just like never ever happens. But I decided Wave was not actually that good for the deck. She just got out Nimrod and she let your opponent do big things on with a you know a turn six play. So I just put Psylocke back in. I figured just wait till three, play Psylocke. It's the same same effect for you, but it doesn't let your opponent take advantage of Wave's effect. So once your Rod is out, you got to start destroying your Rod. We have a few different ways. The real high roll way is you get Venom onto your Nimrod and whatever you cheated him out with. Uh, then you follow up with Arnim Zola. You know, Venom makes two Nimrods and the Zola makes two copies of Venom. Venom, first Venom eats one of the Nimrods, makes two more. The next Venom eats the two Nimrods and makes Four Nimrods, it just gets crazy. That's like the big pop-off turn. I didn't run Carnage for a long time. He made the final list because you can play I mean, on turn five or on turn six, you play Venom in one lane and Carnage in the other. And so then like the first Nimrod trigger adds Nimrods for the second destroy trigger. And that's actually a pretty strong pop-off play too. So if you play Electro on turn three, you could follow up with Rod on four and on five play Zola or Destroyer. Destroyer is a card that has really been relegated to one specific deck type, and I love that we can let him shine in a totally different deck list now. Zola, of course, works on Nimrod. You can play it on a big Venom. Uh, you can play it on your Red Skull after Shuri. So I do love that this deck has no one fixed play pattern, but it has just all these different tools that can all work in different situations. The deck did have some issues. Uh, it had no cheap cards to play. It had no early options other than the ramp cards. So I wanted to find something low cost that I could play on the early turns. Uh, I thought I would try Nova since we have all these destroy cards. And I, I think he's a perfect fit. You can play him early, but you can still use him late. You can sneak him in underneath a Venom or a Carnage. He's a great way to get power onto your, your rods without having to play Shuri. I was really happy with him. Another problem was the deck had no counterplay. You have to have some counterplay, right? I tried including Shang-Chi for a while, but it just felt bad because your late turns are when you need to make big plays to power up your own board. So it just it was really tough to get Shang-Chi out and also develop your own board. It just wasn't happening. What is a low-cost disruptive card? We have Iceman. You all know how annoying this guy is. It's another early card you can play, and you can never truly tell exactly what his effect was. But while editing these videos, it often seemed like the opponents were making clunky plays. And you never know when that's because you iced a key card for them and they couldn't play their cards on the right curve. So it just it felt like a really strong choice. And one last thing is that we all know Leech has been a big problem this meta. Um, and he hurts us pretty bad too. But since we have Red Skull and Destroyer in the deck, uh, where you know, those particular cards are in your hand until the late game. So if they get leached, you do have an ability to play some strong cards still. Also, like if you have Nimrod down and you get leached, maybe you top deck one of your destroy cards and you can still like make a play after that. So it's leech is not an automatic game over, which is is handy nowadays. So that about covers it. You know, I was really glad that I was able to get to Infinite with a deck that I worked on myself. And I know a lot of people are saying that this meta has been extremely frustrating to climb with. So, you know, I was having fun the whole time. So, you know, I hope you guys try it and like it. Thank you for watching and keep snapping.
maybe it'll eat him. <laughs> well, that's not bad, actually. Shuri leech? Oh, oh no, that's not a real leech though. He only has 12, so be like past masters for 12. I can put three more power here. And what do we got here? I'm a little confused. Our arrow. Well, hey, I'll take that. Nice. I think this is fine. So I think I just carnage now, because there's bigger things to do with Venom. So hopefully, we don't get blocked right now. Stop playing cards. This is an 11 power sunspot, huh? I wish I could Nova, but I don't think I can squeeze it in. But I'm killmongering his Sunspot and his Iceman, so, so far he's only Thor. And then I can, I can Zola the, the Venom. Infinite, not great. But so I, I can I can I can like this and then I can Zola here. He's playing two things here, which is hard to conceive. So I want to win the left too. <laughs> I might win all three. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. If he shangs, he shangs, but I should have these two lanes. Mjolnir? Okay. Magneto. Okay, so I just won all the lanes. <laughs> he didn't... I don't know what he thought was going to happen, but... It, it probably wasn't that. Oh, he's got to have armor, though. Yeah. Good card. It's good card. I think it's again, I think I changed my mind. Electro and then Nimrod into Destroyer. The only problem is it's... I don't want to put Destroyer here. Same thing, same thing. I can buy Zola on the right. There's a 50-50, and they're both pretty good. The problem is if I, if I hit the Nimrod, two, two, twelves, two, two, twelve, two sixes is 12, and he has a, potentially a 14. I could just do a 19 over here like this. And then like a sentinel somewhere. 
Or I could do like Venom here and then Carnage here. Okay, let's do that. Is this a Shang-Chi? Well, I think... Uh, if it's Shang-Chi, I guess I lose. It's Taskmaster. Okay. Well, then that works out. Oh, okay. Does Zola spawn left to right? I, yeah, it should. Have you tried Wave? I used to have Wave. I did not like it. It Psylocke serves the same purpose where it lets me get... I mean, I guess I could do Destroyers earlier in that one, but that's not that great. So I think we just place this mid and hope it goes right. And uh, beyond that, I have no game plan. <laughs> Onslaught. Oh, but that's not gonna... They're, they're gonna get split up, probably. I hope my guy goes right. Or I hope I draw Zola, either one. Alright, now I hope I don't draw Zola. Hope I draw Red Skull. Oh, Taskmaster, also very good. Right? This, this way? I don't think he shangs here. I'd be really surprised if he did. Oh shit. Well then I win that if he doesn't. I'm I'm confused. Uh, let's see what he does. Ultron. Yeah. I, I think he might have thought the scroll was doing something that it wasn't doing. No leech yet, that's a bad pull. Oh, really waving me now? That's sad. I mean, I'll do the venom. But we got like one of our strongest draws. He can't snap me anymore. The only, I mean, that downside obviously he just leeches me right now. And I got Devil Dino. It sucks that he's gonna win that, running away. Right, he just gets eight and 12, so yeah, I won't win here. But I get, well, no, I, I, I get a thing in there. I'm gonna play it out. He, he get arrow me or Cosmo or some shit, but whatever. It's gonna be a lot of Nimrods. Reality Stone. Okay, that's a little rough. Uh, well, not a matter no more. That's I can I win that one. That's an easy win. It's just about to see what happens here, and then obviously Arrow. Well, we can we can still do it if he kills the Nimrod though. If they kill the Nimrod, oh, we still got him. Wow. That's a different story, to be sure. Like, Red Skull, then Venom. Oh, my fun is over now. <laughs> 
Scorpion meant nothing. Taskmaster here. And Zola, the Taskmaster. He could Shang-Chi me right now. I still might win. I don't know what is. Don't know what is his play. Help chat. Tell me what he's doing. I don't recognize what he's doing. Is this like a a She-Hulk? Death wave? Well he didn't destroy anything. But like She-Hulk, it looks like. What do you think is the smartest play? Like he could do She-Hulk and Shang-Chi? I think that my real question is he's most likely to Shang-Chi here. But do we care? If he shang -Chi's and She-Hulk's here, I lose. If I do this, I just feel like this is not what he expects. Right, right. Ronin, what? What is it? What are the cards? She-Hulk? Dr. Doom? I think we were fine either way. I kind of hope they just get the destroyer out there on Psylocke. Nah, I don't like that. Didn't like that at all. Venom, huh? Okay, now this is this is a bit of a non-draw. Could do the electro. This is not good. I could do lockjaw into a <laughs> electro into lockjaw. I guess we'll see. So I wonder what he got from me. It must have been like Destroyer or something that he doesn't want to play. Hair is hard. Okay, he's kind of got me. This is sort of a. He's kind of got me dominated. Hopefully, Nimrod pops out. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Because I get, with the Electro, I'm going to have six energy. I could just throw a Destroyer in. Carnage. That's n less good. So is there any chance that Red Skull mid against Iron Man? No, that's, that's not a thing. <laughs> that's not a thing. Well, the card's the highest power here. He, he steals that from them. He has two eights. Who would actually lose six power? I don't think. I don't think it's definitely. Oh, well that that's not good either. He lost some power. There, there. That's what we wanted. Oh, but I lose four. But I'm at 19. So, barring a blue marble, we do win that lane. So is is this enough to win over here now? It's 19. Oh man. He hasn't snapped yet? Yeah, I mean, it's basically one cube that I'm wagering. It probably is not going to do it, but... Bro. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, that's a screenshot. Not a, not a, not a, not a balanced spread of power. Don't fist pound their whack tactics. Wow. All right, good game. He didn't, you know what? He didn't snap me and then play Leech. So honestly, he was like pretty chill about it. <laughs> oh my God, guys. I got nothing to, uh... I kind of doubled down on the, on the thing. Holy shit. But I only, I only want one, I only want one auto death. I don't want to play Venom on one of these places, right? Well, I guess I could Shuri Vormir. Okay. I, you're right. He might see the Shuri and then the Nimrod and just be like, oh, never mind. I'm out. Not over there. What are you doing? I, I do think this looks better. Like, this looks very exciting because I'm a Nimrod deck, 
but having two places where things were gonna die is actually not that good. And it, if I didn't have Shuri to play on Vormir, I think I would have not felt quite as good about this. And I still don't know for sure, actually. But it does look like he was a Shuri deck and he didn't draw his Shuri. So I think Destroyer mid, if we don't draw, well, no, even if we draw Zola, that's not that good because of the Iceman. But Destroyer mid probably is good. Unless he armors on Death's Domain right now, which would make me feel real bad. Must, what are you, what are you writing? <laughs> <laughs> what are you writing? Must with with all Nimrod's fine. Well, he snuck that guy out, but I guess that didn't trigger. Well, yeah, it's destroyer mid. So if we don't care about the left anymore. We'll just get. Well, we'll still have one Nimrod there, one Nimrod here, two Nimrods here, plus fifteen, because because the Cosmo. That's why. Oh, he didn't even think. We did it with Nimrod. Not only, not only did we make it with the deck, but it was Nimrod that got us there. Hecky, you saw it. That feels good. <laughs> uh, let me just, and then of all, of all the things to show, oh my gosh. That's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Mega Man 3, Shuri. I'm never upgrading it.